those early years. Oh, I still remember that soldier suit. My mom was so proud of it. Oh, and the girl next door, Barbara Nowicki. Oh, yes, and my best friend, Bob Beeler. And of course, my mom and dad, Helen and Stanley Barzik. Oh, those early years. Oh, hi. I don't know who you are or how you found this video, but thanks. You see, what I've done is I've kind of gathered together images from my career to kind of show you what it was like to be a producer-director in the 21st century. Uh, today is actually July 19th, 2016, but I want to take you way back to the early years, to 1940s and 1950s. You see, when I was growing up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, we didn't have television. Uh -uh. What we had were newspapers, of course, comic books, love them. We had great radio shows. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman! And of course, the movies. You have to see the wizards, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You can be a wizard of Oz, if ever a wizard of Oz. If ever a wizard of Oz, the wizard of Oz is one because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. So why the hell should you be interested in me? Maybe because I had one unusual desire, a desire that would help me search for a personal vision using the electronic media of its time. And of course, that was television. These are the magic boxes, you know, the ones that brought all this unusual stuff. You know, the television boxes of the 1950s, they were great. Several years ago, I went back to Milwaukee to kind of capture the early days. Here are some of the uh, videos that I shot back in 2009. It's August 1st, the year 2009. I'm 72 years old and really don't know how long I'm gonna, gonna be around here. This is my valiant attempt to try to save the television shows and programs I've produced and directed over 50 years. I hope you, the viewers in the year 2100, will look at that as a window on what our life was like in the year 2009. Where am I standing right now? Well, I'm standing right on the street that I grew up in, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is on the south side. It was a very Polish neighborhood. My friend James Jankowski lived over there. Bill Sadowski lived over there. There were skis everywhere. My dad, well, he worked in a, uh, a factory. International Harvester, it was called. My mother, during World War II, worked in another factory over there called Perfix, making uh, uh, rockets. And uh, on a warm day, you could actually smell the stockyards from down there. It was a, a very pleasant but uh, interesting life to live. Um, I must say that in in all honesty, I'd never thought that I would be back here, you know, so many years later, and it's television that brought me back here. It's amazing. Well, this is the house I grew up in, 3242 South 7th Street. That was uh, 70 years ago. Yeah, it was a big Polish neighborhood at that time. My friend Bob Beeler lived over there. Next door, Lawrence had a polka band, terrible. You can hear it all the time. And uh, this is where I learned to play the piano terribly. I painted here, you know, not very well. But I did show some early interest in aesthetics. If you follow me for a second, you see every stair around here had a, a sharp edge. Well, at seven or eight, I thought it might be really interesting to round off all these corners. So I took a hammer and rounded them off. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was quite a neighborhood, but I'll tell you one of the big things, and that was the event the arrival of television. My God, this is the place, the actual place. My friends ran over into the neighborhood and they yelled at me, it's here, it's here. And I said, what's here? They said, TV, it's at Chester's, Chester's Tavern. I'm gonna go in, it's now called Donna's place. I'm gonna go in and ask Donna if it's all right if we come in. You stay right there, okay? Come on in, come on in. Hey, here I am, Donna's Bar. It used to be called Chester's Tap. This is where my dad used to sit. This was his favorite chair, right about here. He would come here on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday afternoon, maybe on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And my job was, as a kid, to go and get my dad out of the bar so he would come home to eat. Now, you have to understand the routine in a Milwaukee bar. I would come in, they say, hey, kid, have an orange soda, right? So I get an orange soda. 
And then my father's name was Stanley, so they called him Stash. Hey, Stash, have a beer on me. Nice looking kid. And then my father would have to pay back, so he'd have to buy them a beer. My mother's at home. The food's getting cold. What can I say? That's, that was life on the South Side. But more importantly, this is the place where I saw my first television. Can you believe it? Right here at Chester's Tavern in those days. Now it's Donna's place. Here's to Donna. Here's to the South Side. Here's to TV. I'll drink to that. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm standing in the Ohio Street Playground in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This was where I learned to play a lot of games. Oh, and back over there, that's St. Helen's Church. My mother was uh, married there. I was baptized there, got confirmation there. This was a great playground for the kids. Uh, playgrounds all over Milwaukee, Wisconsin. There was a little pool over here. And uh, during the summer, when I was about mm, 11, 12 years old, uh, the summer program had a gentleman who came in. I think he went to the University of Wisconsin. And he was our, basically our playground supervisor. You could get baseballs from him. You could get basketballs from him. But his real passion, you know what it was? It was tennis. And he taught me how to play tennis. Right over here. These are the great tennis courts filled with potholes, filled with rainwater when it rains too hard. Where the, where the nets are metal, you have to wind them up to make them really tight. And this is where I learned to play tennis, right in here. Uh, what memories this tennis court brings back. Oh, look at this, you know, this metal one. It almost reaches the right height, you know, for authentic play. <laughs> but I gotta tell you the story. I'm this kid, see, like 11 years old in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and this, this guy here in the playground is gonna teach me how to play tennis, me, tennis, me and my friend Bob Beeler. <laughs> tennis, I can hardly hit the ball. But it was interesting, it was different, and we were the only ones on the entire playground that learned how to play tennis. And then one day, believe it or not, he said to me, the Milwaukee Journal is gonna run a tennis championship. How would you like to be the representative of the Ohio Street Playground? Me, represent the entire, to win the championship though, here he had to find another kid who was a little bit older than my friend Bob, who would play me so that they could say I actually won a match. I don't know where he found this kid. He had big, thick glasses and he could hardly run and I won. And one day, Bob and I headed off on the bus to the north side. Now you have to understand that going to the north side for a kid from the south side, it just wasn't normally done. We got out there. I couldn't believe it. There were like 35 tennis courts. They were grass. Everything was beautiful and I signed up and they said, you're gonna go on at one o'clock. One o'clock on court number 15. Wow, 15. I had my Sears Husky pants on, I had a jersey, I had my black sneakers on, and I had a tennis racket that the guy here at the playground had given me. It was a little wooden racket, a few strings were broken. But anyway, the time arrived, and my opponent walked out. He had a white shirt on, white shorts, he had white, white socks and white tennis, and he had three tennis rackets, and they were all encased in leather. And he stood there with a, with a band over his head for a sweat. And he hit the first ball. I'd never seen a ball do that. It bounced like that and bounced right back. I couldn't believe it. It hit the ball. What? No. He, he, I couldn't even see it. He hit it again. What? I couldn't see it. Hit it again. What? My God. Who is this man? Is he God? <laughs> Whacked him again. And again. And again. And again. It was the fastest thing I'd ever. In five minutes. I was defeated. I had to go home a loser. Of course, that loss so bad that Bob and I thought it was the funniest thing that ever happened. We laughed all the way home on the bus. And then two weeks later, in the mail, I got a letter. It said, Master Fred Barzik, the Milwaukee Journal. They had sent me a letter. I opened it up, ripped it up, and it said, congratulations. You are the champion of the Ohio Street Playground Tennis Championship. And enclosed was a blue ribbon, my own blue ribbon, even though I'd lost the major game. That happens in life sometimes. Ohio Street Playground, what a great place.